Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? So I was getting it for you. What's good on people? <laughs> Ooh, what's good on people? It is a day, but then another day we call Monday. Anyway, that being said, oh, what's good on people? Um, hmm. It's another one of those days of another day and another day. Anyway, that being said, you know, it's funny. I was sitting back and I was thinking of so many different things. Because, you know, my big bobble head, I'm always thinking about a lot of things. And I always listen to the, um, you know, the transsexuals and stuff like that. You know, I listen to the gay people, but I'm on this side of the fence. Just like the black people listen to black people, the white people listen to the white people, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican. Okay, so right now I'm on the transsexual side. I was on the gay side, but, you know, I flipped over to the other side. Anyway. That being said, you know, and maybe I was always this way, you know, it's always that people try to change you and stuff like that, and, you know, it's funny because when people try to change you into what they want you to be, sometimes your whole life is directed in an order that you should have never have went into, and everything in life that you probably have wanted that will come easy to you is not coming because the person felt as though they were helping you out along the way, and it really wasn't helping you because you was already instructed to go a certain way with your life, and now this person has changed your whole life and your demeanor, and everything you're trying to do just keeps failing. You know, with that being said, you know, as a young child growing up and stuff like that, of course, you know, I was beat up a lot. They beat my ass. <laughs> but I was like a big punk because of a fact, no matter, I couldn't imagine me hitting someone. And I was a big crybaby. You know, I used to cry about a lot of things and stuff. You could say something to me and I would just start crying. And I was very, very emotional. <laughs> It's not funny, but I was very emotional, and I was like, you know, the kind of person that, you know, I wore my heart on my shoulder. And as a young child in elementary school, I took a pair of pants outfit, and I cut it in half, and I made the top of the pair short. Now, remind you, this is a child that never been, know nothing about designing anything, and, you know, did that. And the same way I did this shirt like this, I cut it up, and, you know, it was a shirt that I'm not really good, I'm not really big on, so I took it and cut it up, and now I made this shirt I really kind of like. You know, and it's funny because as a person coming up, maybe I used to design clothes, like a lot of stuff I've done. I made gowns, I made dresses, I made bras, I made shorts, and I was self-taught. I looked at something, I figured it out the same way I do my hair. You know, and criticism is, criticism is always going to come and stuff like that. And I remember being really little, like on the side of the sink, you know, the sink is here. And I was standing right here and I told my mother I was a girl. And she was like, well, only boys like girls. Only boys like, only boys only girls like boys, and I said, well, I'm a girl. I, you understand what I'm saying? I'm kind of a little mixed up, but anyway, that being said, and she was like, you know, she tried to change me and stuff like that, and she kept seeing all these traits of me of something that she knew that she didn't like. And I'm glad, you know, the thing about it is that they always say karma, you know, don't make fun of gay people because your kids will come out gay. So well, that happened to my parents. They made fun of gay people when I came out this way, and they got rid of me. <laughs> You know, and the thing about it is that, you know, I know I'm never going to know what it's like to have a mother, father, love, and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I, you can't miss it if you never had it. And I feel like I just came here by myself. And, you know, it's funny how I structure myself because I'm not on drugs. I'm not sprung out on anything. And I'm a pretty much normal as normal can possibly get. Unfortunately, you know, to other people, I'm not normal. I, I'm suffering from delusional and stuff like that. And, you know. You can't really help out how you turn out, but you can, you can kind of try to go in the weird direction you want to go. You know, when you think about it, is that, you know, you're going to have walls and obstacles and stuff like that. This video is going to the left. It's not what I want to talk about. But um, it's funny because if you wasn't changed, where you would have went, you know, and I was doing that certain type of thing. And once I realized that I always wanted wide hips and I always wanted to look like a girl and... I didn't want to be a girl, but I wanted to look just like one, which is weird, but that's how I felt. I saw the girls had long hair, and I wanted wide hips, and voila! <laughs> but as a boy before this, I always had hair down my back, so that was never not much of a difference. That's why I'm easy to get spooked, because people can figure me out quick, because it's not too much of a difference. It's a difference, but it's not that much of an extreme difference. Anyway, that being said, you know, it's funny how people change you to go the direction they want you to go as a child growing up being parent and you change them into a direction where everything they're trying to do is fail. I'm working in a corporate world. I never should have been there. I should have been the kind of person that was going to like talent scouts and different agencies that specialize in those type of things like that. As far as comedians, as far as drawing, as far as so much. But I was not instructed that way to go. I was told in order to make it a life, I had to put me pushed into a direction I really didn't know where I was going. But lots of out of ten, if you want your mother to stop beating the shit out of you and punch you in the jaw, you'll do anything. 
You know, and I used to get, I didn't ever got mad at her because I was supposed to tell she was abused, and as an abuser, you're going to be an abuser, so she could help but do what she was doing. And that being said, you know, it's funny because as a child growing up, you're going to learn to be stronger, and there's people going to teach you how to be stronger. And, you know, it's funny because I sit back, and when you're sitting in a place where you feel like you're not really wanted, or you don't know where you fit in at, it's because you probably had a place where you were heading until someone interfered and changed your whole direction. And now you're heading in a whole direction that you should have never went into. Now you don't know what to do. Now you're self-medicating on drugs and alcohol. And the people just would have left you alone if you're a strong-willed person. But I was a weak-minded person because as a child, your parents are your God. You don't know nothing about the man Jesus, or do you know about the man that's feeding you? And that being said, you know, it's so funny, you know, how life is. And I always was going to be who I am, and no matter what they did to me, I still en ended up exactly where I needed to be. I want to know how you feel about that. I want to know if someone didn't change you and change the direction you were going, what do you think you would have been now? If someone didn't show you this other way and stuff like that, how would you have turned out? How you would have been? Or you the kind of person that was so strong, you said, fuck this, I'm going to do what I want to do. Unfortunately, I was not that person. I did what I was told, told to do. Because if I didn't do it, I was going to get my ass whipped. Because my parents believed in spankers, honey. And my mother always told everybody she would never beat me with, you know, in my face. My mother would punch me in the face, grab me by my hand, just... My father beat me up, my mother beat me up. After that, everybody else was just sidekick. So after a while, you know, society beat me up, my mother father beat me up, and after a while, like a dog, you hit it long enough, he will bite you. And here I am now, the person that stands before you, but I think maybe I needed that. Maybe I needed my mother father to get rid of me, to make me strong. Because if they didn't do what they did to me, maybe I could be able to deal with what society throws at me. Maybe I needed that. But in a lot of ways, it's kind of weird because when you stand around other people who have the mother father love, and you know you're never going to have it, it kind of feels sad, but sometimes if you think about it, but... Hey, it is what it is. I can't fault them for what they needed to do within themselves. They had to do what they had to do, and I have to do what I have to do anyway. Uh, that being said, and, um, I'm going to get off right about now. And no, I'm not sad, so don't even think that. But um, I'm just saying, you know, I understand for those who like me, who don't have that love and stuff like that. But, hey, like I said before, you have your own people, which is us. And we all do exist. So if you look in the mirror, you send an image of me. I don't like the fact we don't all get along. Hey, it is what it is. Anyway. I want to say hello all new people, boom, I want to say hello all old people, bam, and I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, I want you to do you, I want you to do you the best way that you can, and if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.